Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Callie, and I'm so glad to have you. Today I'm going to be showing you what I have on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I'm so excited for this video. I recently upgraded to the iPhone 13 Pro Max for Christmas, technically. Before this, I had the iPhone XR, which was a great phone, but it was time for an upgrade. This is my phone, and it is silver and white. This is the phone case that I have on it. I normally always get the same print because I love this print, and I absolutely love Caseify cases. So so this is the comparison. This is the one that I had for my iPhone XR and you can tell the rims are very dirty because I had this phone case for such a long time and I used it literally all the time. It was a great phone case but I'm so excited for this one and I like the fact that this one actually has a color under it compared to the clear one. I believe the specific color is called mushroom. I could be wrong. I did not look that up. <laughs> anyway, on my phone I have the case and then I also have the Caseify little camera protector thing. It's just a clear piece that goes over the camera to protect it from getting scratched or damaged damage or dust in it. And then I also have the screen protector on it, which is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I don't want to scratch my phone or crack it, so I have a screen protector on as well. So I guess we can just dive right into this. I need to start screen recording, but it needs my password first. Nice. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen now. But this is my iPhone screen. It's just a picture I drew in Procreate of my boyfriend and I. And then you open the phone, and this is my home screen. So as you can tell, I really love peaches. I love the color of peach. I think peaches are the cutest thing. So I have a peach phone case as well as a peach wallpaper. I'm not going to run through all of the apps on my home screen just because, I mean, I'm pretty sure anyone who has an iPhone has all of these apps unless they deleted them. So this is what it looks like if you want to have it set up exactly like mine. I might have it the same way that it normally comes with the phone. I don't even remember. Like I said, I just got this phone recently so I still have to do a little bit to it and make it more personalized. Over here is where we get to the fun stuff. I used to think that I didn't like the icon folders but I'm obsessed with them because I love organizing, so it helped so, so much when I did this. But starting from the left, I just have a widget from Widget Smith. It's just a picture I found on Pinterest. I thought it was cute and it went with my background, so I used it. And then in my social folder, which I like to have all of the folders labeled with all capitals and then like an emoji beside it, if I can, I always try and do that. Oh, wait, finance doesn't have anything. What? Hold up. Hold up, we're gonna get a money sign. Oh, should I do the dollars or should I do the bag? Uh, I feel like I should do the dollars. I didn't feel like finding it, so we're just gonna do that. Is that? Whatever. Anyway, going back to my social folder, I have Instagram. You guys can definitely go follow me if you'd like to. It's right there, it's just Callie.Jean. And then I also have Snapchat, but I don't really give that away unless you're really close to me. And then I have Visco, which you guys can go follow if you want to, but I guess I didn't sign in on my new phone, so I'm gonna have to do that. And then I have Instagram TV, which I'm not gonna click on because I don't think I've ever even used it. I don't know why I have it on my phone, but I do. And then I have Facebook, which that is, again, more of like a personal social media outlet for me, so I don't really give that away to everyone. And then I have Messenger for Facebook, so I can message people that don't have like a phone, or sometimes I just send them things over Facebook. And then I have Gmail, which I'm not gonna click on. I clearly need to go through my folder because it is backed up again. I try and go through it like every January because I get so many emails. I get so many spam emails. I get so many emails. Like, it's ridiculous. And then I have Pinterest, which I'm not going to click on that either because I don't really have people follow me on there. I actually keep a lot of my boards more secret for some reason. It's just what I do, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And then I have TikTok, which is actually a social media that I don't use quite often, but I do use it occasionally because it is kind of fun. And I really do like Instagram really reels also. So you guys can follow me on there if you want. It's just California Jean with a K of course. And then that's all for my social folder. And then for my editing folder, I have a bunch of apps that I literally don't even use. I don't know why they're all on here. So just to run through really quick, I have Lightroom, which is a photo editing app. Oh my gosh, I was looking back at my photos this morning. That's so funny. I just have Lightroom, which you can use like presets and filters. And hey, there's the one from my, what's that video? Oh, my Christmas haul video. That was super late going up. Anyway, I use this app to edit all of my photos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a funny picture. But yeah, I really like to use like presets and just create my own filters on here. So I use them for photo editing. Planoly is actually what I use to plan my Instagram out. So I've been trying to do this more. I'm actually kind of terrible at it. I have some photos in there that I haven't even uploaded yet. I'm like trying to play around with them, see what looks good together. But I try to see what 
like looks really good together and kind of goes together in a nice format so I'm trying to like decide whether to post photos or whether to not post photos so this definitely helps but I love this app even though I tried my best to use it I don't always use it <laughs> the next two apps I have no idea what they are I'm not gonna show you guys because I just I haven't even looked at them myself I don't know why they're on my phone and then I have unfold which is kind of like a story maker you can use different photos for it and layouts which is really nice if you're trying to create a good Instagram story I kind of never do that and I really never use this so there's that Vixer no idea what that is Facetune I'm pretty sure I used that back in like middle school yeah okay so I haven't even yeah um I just know that you can like I think you can like fix pimples and whiten teeth and stuff and I remember back in like middle school I would do that all the time I don't know why but I just did insecurities clay I've never used that I actually have no idea what half of these apps are this is yeah yeah I'm not even gonna go through it. I don't even know what it is lens buddy is like a self timer camera which takes a bunch of photos very quickly for you so that's a really nice app if you want something like that oh gosh um, I'm not gonna go through any of these. You can see what they are if you want to download them and look into them yourself. I have no idea what they are. I know what iMovie is. The other four, no idea at all. Okay, moving to my YouTube folder. I, of course, have YouTube. I'm not gonna open that because, I mean, if you're watching this video, you're using YouTube, so that's all I gotta say. And then I have YouTube Studio, which actually calculates, like, how many views I'm getting, how many hours are watched, and just all of the information that I kind of need to know about my videos. And then I have AdSense, which I don't know if I've ever even used the app. I don't think so. And then I have my Camera Connect app, which is really, really nice. All I have to do on any of my cameras is turn on the Wi-Fi function, and then it connects to my phone through the Wi-Fi. And then I can download images off of my camera or videos, and then I can also do, like, the remote live view shooting. I'm actually, like, hitting the button on my phone to take a photo for from my camera or I also do the same thing for my videos. So that app is a wonderful app. If you haven't noticed, I really like clearing the background. I can't stand apps being in the background. And then over here I have my Christ folder, which is mainly just a Bible app, but it also has like books that you can buy. There's like plans that you can read through and everything. And I absolutely love this. You can actually like choose what part of the Bible you want to read and then you can choose what version you want. So they have like all these different versions, which is a great great option especially for reaching more people because not everybody reads the same version of the bible which i totally understand it's actually so nice so that's all that i have there i normally have the bible app also but because the she reads truth app has a bible built into it i don't really need the bible app and then for school i have outlook which is like my microsoft email because i need that for school and then the next app was like during covid when i had to go on campus i had to like check off that i wasn't having symptoms every morning and sign my name and everything so that way i could actually go onto my campus. For finance, which we just added that money symbol, I have normally four apps, but I put two of them on the page over to the right so I wouldn't show you guys what banking apps I use and like credit cards and all that stuff. But for finance, I have Zelle and then I also have Cash App. Those two I can show you because those are pretty universal. I feel like a lot of people have those. To the right is another widget. I just keep the date there. I created that in Widget Smith super easy. I actually have a few cute widgets. Some of them I use for like Christmas. Some of them I use for fall and you can clearly tell that some of them are summertime ones i don't really spend a lot of time on widget smith just because i don't have time to so those are the ones that i created when it like blew up and became like a big thing down in my shopping folder oh lord this is gonna be yeah there's a lot of apps i'm not gonna click on every single one of these just because that's a waste of time you probably know what almost every single one of them if not half of them are so i'm just gonna run through these we have target american eagle and airy amazon urban outfitters Princess Polly, Gymshark, Grey Bandit, Abercrombie, Ulta Beauty. I also kind of have these in the order of how I use them and how often I use them. Kind of, not exactly. And then I have Hollister, Beginning Boutique, Garage, Etsy, Free People, Anthropology, Cotton On, Forever 21, Stadium Goods, Shein, StockX, and then there's Walmart, Best Buy, obviously for like the technology aspect, and then Like to Know It, which is to see different outfits and like if someone has like to know it they can link where their stuff is from which I don't really use that much. Klarna and Afterpay. Oh guys these are dangerous for some people. They're actually not that dangerous for me. I think during the holidays is when I actually use them because I don't normally use them but it's where you can like pay for your clothes or whatever you're purchasing if the store offers it. You can pay for it through four increment payments every two weeks I believe and I absolutely love these apps just because they are really helpful if you don't want to spend like a lot of money right 
right away at once so they are definitely helpful student beans I actually use that for some discounts on clothing or just different stores because of college same thing with unidays that's another good one Rakuten wait I forgot a firm Oh, Affirm is, I think, another, like, Klarna and Afterpay. I've never used it. I have it downloaded, but I've never used it, so I'm pretty sure it's just, like, Klarna and Afterpay. And then Rakuten is where I get, like, money back from purchasing from different stores. Shop is actually what I use just to track all of my shipments and orders from different stores. So, food. Um, I love food. These are kind of also in the order that I use them. I would say, for the most part, not completely, but... For the most part. Tropical Smoothie Cafe. My favorite, favorite, favorite place to go. Literally, that is the place to be, okay? Tropical Smoothie is my favorite. I love their smoothies. Their food is decent too, but I'm obsessed with their smoothies. Chick-fil-A, that's... I feel like that's obvious. Starbucks, Crumble. Oh, Crumble Cookie. Guys, first of all, their app layout is so cute. I love their app layout. I think it's so well done. And like you can click on the cookies and then see the nutrition facts under it, which is so nice. And you can just see like all the calories and the ingredients in them. And that's just so convenient. Like, I don't know. I... I love their app. Highly recommend getting the Crumble app if you live near Crumble or are willing to drive a far distance for Crumble. Um, Outback, absolutely love Outback. One of my favorite sit down restaurants to go to. Like I love steak, love Outback. Chipotle, I went through a phase where I actually really loved Chipotle for like the longest time. Like I was eating it all the time. And then I got really sick of it and I still like, it's been months since I've had a bowl. Dunkin', obviously coffee and chai tea, which I realized I really like chai tea. My next thing to try is matcha because I know it's a huge thing and like I would like to try it but if I don't like it I would be very honest about that. Tasty, oh guys I love this app for like cooking and just finding recipes for like dinners, lunches, breakfast, snacks, desserts, love it all. Like oh so good. I have like a bunch of boards with a bunch of different recipes for different things and mm, guys like I love this app so much. Sheets, I really don't use that often but I have the app. And Panera Bread, I don't really go to Panera Bread. I went there once this last year to meet with a friend. I actually never go to Panera, but I have the app. And then my last folder is my Disney folder, which I obviously keep Disney Plus. Like, come on guys, why wouldn't I keep Disney Plus? Next to that, I have Shop Disney, which I shop on Disney a good bit. Like, guys, I love shopping on Disney. There are so many good things to shop on this app. It is... Ugh, it's dangerous. Like, they're always having sales. They always have, like, cute gifts. But the 50th anniversary at Disney World has got me, like, looking at a bunch of different stuff that comes onto the app. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, I want to buy this. If you know what spirit jerseys are, I literally almost bought, like, an $80 spirit jersey because it had the 50th anniversary on it, which I'm kind of glad I didn't because it was very expensive. And I needed to get Christmas gifts instead, so I did not get it. But now it's not sold on the app, so I'm kind of sad. But that app is really great if you love Disney. Disney and love shopping for Disney things. Um, I actually have the Disney World app just because my boyfriend and I went there this last year and we use this app throughout the parks to look at wait times, to look at restaurant reservations and walk-up availability. It tells you the hours of operation for each park in the app also, which is really nice. And you actually had to use this. I don't know if you still do. I've heard rumors that you don't, but you had to use this for a virtual queue, which was for Rise of the Resistance when we went. But I've heard that they're not really doing that now because because they have like this Disney Genie Plus, which I need to look into for the next time we go just because it might be really useful, I'm not sure. But this app is great if you are going to Disney World. This app, oh guys, I missed yesterday. I think that was the only day I've missed for like three or four months now. I absolutely love, love, love Disney Magic Kingdoms. You get to like build your own kingdom in this game. Like, see, yeah, I missed yesterday, so I need to recover that. Darn it. I've been getting into reading a lot more, so like I haven't been on my phone as much, and I'm normally on my phone a lot in a day, so I haven't really had the time to play this game yesterday, but I'm not gonna do a bunch, but in this app, you can literally build your own kingdom. Like, it's so cute. You can collect rewards. You can collect characters like I love collecting characters I think it's so fun there's like all these different characters there oh, this app is really cute and really fun especially if you love Disney so highly recommend playing this game all right everyone that was all for my what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max video I hope that you guys like this video and please subscribe if you are not already for more content weekly and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone <laughs>